What's up guys, welcome to Craft Tinder, where we make cocktails that don't suck. My name's Jeremiah, and on today's episode, we're featuring the Whiskey Sour. Now, before I show you how to make this cocktail, I'm gonna show you how they've been making it for you for years. That'll be $16. So, now that you've seen the wrong way to make a whiskey sour, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it the right way. Before we get into the cocktail, I wanna discuss three basic things. Number one, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the history. Number two, we're gonna cover a little misconceptions. And lastly, when we go over techniques and methods, I'm gonna walk you guys all the way through that. So, little background on the cocktail. So you're, we're looking at a cocktail that predates basically 1890. In 1890, as this cocktail was making its major debut, the crazy thing about it, and the one thing that really made it so popular was they added egg white to the cocktail. What egg whites do to the cocktail is- What are you gonna do to me? They give it body, right? They give it texture. So we take a really simplistic cocktail and you give it this voluptuousness. It made the cocktail really, really, really sexy. Let's have a conversation about some misconceptions, internet. So look, I get it, right? There's raw egg white in the cocktail. It freaks people out a little bit because they don't want to get sick. But as long as your eggs are fresh, they're pasteurized, and they haven't been sitting in your fridge for a long time, come here, internet, you'll be fine. So this lady comes in the bar one time, asks for what's in the whiskey sour. So the second I tell her that there's egg white, lemon juice, simple syrup, and bourbon, she stops me immediately and goes, no, no, no. I can't have anything with raw egg in it. And in the same exact breath, orders lemon meringue pie, which has raw egg white in it. I'll kick you to sleep. Look, all jokes aside, here's why we actually put egg white in the cocktail. When you're shaking that egg white with all the ingredients, what it does is, is it breaks down the egg white in the shaker tin and creates that foam, that froth top on the, the whiskey sour. So don't be alarmed that we're putting raw egg white in it. I promise you that it's perfectly safe, okay? And as of today, I've never met a soul who's gotten sick drinking a whiskey sour unless they had too many of them. So let's get into the cocktail. The cocktail calls for one egg white, lemon juice, a rich simple syrup, and a bourbon of your choice. Today, we're gonna to be using Buffalo Trace. Great bourbon to mix with. So let's talk about the equipment we're gonna to use today. We need a shaker tin, a Hawthorne strainer, a fine mesh strainer, and a jig. So we have our equipment laid out. What's really important when we're talking about method and technique is the right way to build the drink. Here's why. If you go booze first, all your other ingredients, and then you crack your egg, and because we only want the white, if that yolk falls in, you gotta dump the whole thing out and start over. Now, if you're at home and it doesn't matter, that's fine if you wanna build it the reverse way, but if you're one of those bartenders I'm trying to talk to you right now that's trying to break in, salvaging product is everything. So, step number one, Crack your egg and take some time. Don't rush this process. Again, we only need to use most of the egg white. You don't need to get all of it. So, egg white in, and if you take a look, there shouldn't be any yolk, and there definitely is no any egg shells in there. Although it doesn't matter because we'll strain it out. Be particular. Now that we have our egg white in, we're gonna start with lemon juice. We're gonna go three quarter ounces of lemon juice. And then three quarter ounces of a rich simple syrup. Now's the time to add the hitter, Buffalo Trace bourbon. We're gonna go two ounces here. All right, you guys, so we have all the ingredients in the tin. Now, before we have a conversation about shaking this cocktail, I need to have a conversation with you about shaking cocktails. You're beating an egg white, basically, to emulsify and aerate it. Shake it like it owes you money. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Because here's the truth. I've seen too many bartenders that they just shake it like some shake weight commercial. And the truth is, oh, yeah. And the truth is, I've seen chihuahuas shake harder than you. 
So get a good seal on your tin and give it hell because if you don't shake this cocktail hard enough, it's gonna come out really, really watery and really, really light looking and you're not gonna get the right texture and the right foam on the top of the cocktail that you're looking for. So hard seal on the tin and shake it for all you got. So now that we've shaken the bejesus out of this cocktail, the next thing we're gonna do is add one more large ice cube and we're gonna shake it once more. Now, why are we adding only one large ice cube? Again, we're trying to control temperature, not dilution. We really wanna maintain the concentration of all of these ingredients without overly diluting it. So this will give us enough dilution to express the bourbon, but it won't destroy the cocktail. One large cube in. Shake it one more time. <clears throat> Chill coupe glass, and you're just gonna double strain in. We're double straining because, again, we just wanna remove any extra ice chips that may have already broken off from the large cube and remove any debris that's in the cocktail currently. The next thing is to dress the cocktail with aromatic bitters. So get something like this, pretty simple, it's just a dropper. All you're gonna do is just lay out whatever design you want, put three, four, doesn't matter. And anything really works, you can use a toothpick, a garnish pick to help make your design. There you have it guys, the whiskey sour. So, does it taste good? Yeah, again, there's a reason why this cocktail's been so popular for so long. If you haven't had it before, go to the local bar you know and trust that'll make a solid whiskey sour just like this, ordered one. They're perfect for like, I don't know, really any occasion, but what you're gonna expect is a little bit of acid from the lemon juice, a nice balance in the sugar from the simple syrup, and this is actually still a bourbon forward cocktail, even if it's been shaken with an egg white. Wow, so look at that. A proper whiskey sour, and I didn't even need a mustache or a denim bar apron to do it. So there you have it guys, a proper whiskey sour. And to learn to make more cocktails just like this that definitely don't suck, make sure to like and subscribe below. Who knows? Maybe I'll take a shot for every new subscriber. See you next time.